Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my November favorites and I thought I'd get started this month with some beauty products that I picked up from the Sephora holiday sale. Um, I have a few products here that I picked up in store, a few that I got online and then I do have another order I placed online that hasn't been shipped yet. I'm not sure what's going on but um, I do know there's a lot of delays and things happening with the holidays and COVID and everything else. So um, I thought I'd get started with what I have gotten in so far. These are all things that I have used Used, well, almost all things that I have used, but things that I love and um, am really excited to continue using or to start using. So the first one is from Oribe. This is the Super Fine Strong Hairspray. I have been using this for years. I kind of use this just as a one and done finishing spray. Um, I don't really use that much of it. In fact, the bottle that I have that I'm almost done with, I think I got during the the same sale last year. So um, this is a really strong hold hairspray, but I just like it when I'm done kind of throwing my hair back, it kind of just tames down all the little flyaways and um, it smells really great. And it is a pricey one. So I always wait for a sale to pick this up, but um, yeah, something I have been using for years and absolutely love. The other hair care product I picked up is the um, Byredo scented um, Mojave Ghost Whey Leave-In Conditioner which I have been using in place of a hair oil. I find that using this um, on my sort of towel dried hair before I blow dry my hair helps to really speed up the drying process. It keeps my hair hydrated. It kind of reduces frizz to some extent, although living in Florida, frizz is unavoidable for me. Um, but the main thing about this is that I in just in love with the smell. I'm like obsessed with Mojave Ghost. I already have one of these and um, I know from the past when I missed out on the dry shampoo, <laughs> um, this is a limited edition and um, wanted to make sure I had a backup before it goes away. So really loving that. The next thing I picked up is the Kaali Deja Vu White Flower 57. This is the hair mist. I am obsessed with this fragrance. It is a warm white floral, actually the notes are on the back, with gardenia, jasmine absolu, um, orange flower, tuberose infusion, and Tahitian vanilla. It is a delicious, sweet, warm, white floral that is just lovely. I think for this time of year in the fall, but also um, would be nice in the spring. I think this is really a year round scent. That is why I picked up the hair mist. Um, I only have one other hair mist in my collection and that is Chanel number no. five. So it says a lot that um, about how I feel about this fragrance that I picked up the hair mist because I just think it's glorious. And um, I'm hoping that Kaylee will come out with a line of body care because I will definitely be interested in making these fragrances last even longer. And um, I just have really been enjoying everything from their line. The next item I picked up during the sale is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir Facial Spray. I have already started using this. This is a favorite of mine that I always pick up in kind of this um, travel size or smaller size during the sale just to have one on hand. I do have one that I have almost reached the end of and I just absolutely love this stuff. The last few things in my bag, I picked up a couple of beauty blenders. I always like to have some of these on hand as backup. I go through them probably every few months, um, but I like the black ones because they are just easier to clean and they look nicer when, um, when they get dirty. So I really enjoy that. And then the last two things I have are both fragrances and they are both fragrances that I have had in the past got rid of before I moved and decided when I came to Florida that I absolutely needed them back in my life. And they're both from Chanel. The first one is Coco Noir. And um, I recently included this in a video about my favorite holiday fragrances. I love this fragrance during the holidays and it is just this beautiful, woody, spicy, patchouli, floral. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. It's dark. Um, it's definitely a, for me an evening scent, but something that I really enjoy wearing around the holiday season and something that I've really, really been enjoying here in Florida. Again, um, I don't know what it is, something about my body chemistry or the environment I'm in, but this is like such a beautiful fragrance. So I had to have this back in my life. And then the other one I picked up is Coco, the Eau de Parfum. Um, this is one that I had, and I think the bottle I had had actually kind of gone off. I had it for many years and didn't used to wear it as much. But as I said, I am really enjoying woody scents and um, 
spicy fragrances and this is another one that I think is absolutely gorgeous. It's such a classic. When I smell this, all I can think of is Chanel. I mean, it is such a classic fragrance. This and Chanel number no. five, either from one of those scents, if I walk into a room and anyone's wearing it, I immediately know and I just absolutely love them. So yeah, Coco from Chanel. And a few fashion favorites of the month that I picked up from Banana Republic recently. The first one is this gorgeous leopard print dress that is in this really nice um, satiny fabric. It is um, a sort of baby doll style dress, but it's not super short. It's tiered and it's just kind of the perfect cute little dress to wear with booties. I'm definitely um, going to be wearing this on Thanksgiving. I had posted a picture trying it out on my Instagram account and thought to myself, is it really appropriate to wear leopard on Thanksgiving? But um, overwhelmingly, everyone said yes. And in this case, I don't think it's really that loud of a leopard print. Maybe it is, I don't know. But I just think it's the perfect sort of fall tones that looks like the colors I would wear on Thanksgiving. It was gonna be this or like the sweater I'm wearing today. Um, and I decided to go for a dress since for the first time in a really long time, we are actually going to someone's house for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is usually an event that I host every year. And since moving to Florida, we are now closer to some of our family on my husband's side who are having um, a big Thanksgiving affair. So we are invited and I'm really excited to um, be a guest at Thanksgiving and um, really enjoy some time with people, friends and family that um, we know down here. So really looking forward to that. And the other two items I picked up are both the same item in two different colors because you all know me. <laughs> These are some cable knit sweaters um, that I just absolutely fell in love with. They are merino wool and at the time when I bought these it was actually like 70 degrees during the day and going down into the 50s at night, which was like perfect sweater weather for kind of going out in the evenings and wearing something like this. Um, and now it has gone back up into the 80s during the day and the 60s at night. Um, but I am feeling good about um, the winter coming and having a little bit of time where I can wear some sweaters. So I really just loved everything about these. They are kind of an oversized, but not super long boxy fit um, and they're just so super soft and cozy and they just scream me. <laughs> These are such me sweaters. Um, and the other one I got of course is in black and I just love these. They also had them in a really pretty cream color as well as a really pretty beige color. Um, the beige was just a little bit too much on the kind of warmer side of beige that doesn't look particularly great on me, but um, I really enjoy gray and black as you all know, and I know that I'll get the most wear out of these colors. And last but not least is my favorite handbag of the month, and that has to be my Chanel Diana flap in the small size black lambskin leather with the gold hardware. And what I'm really loving most about this bag right now is the gold hardware. The Vintage bags from Chanel with the 24 karat plated gold is just absolutely stunning. And the color of this gold just really kind of um, has a rich tone to it that looks really nice um, when I'm wearing kind of fall colors. And the fact that I don't wear a lot of jewelry, I think um, having something like that on my bag, it's almost like a way of you know, accessorizing my outfit with a little bit of um, a warm tone metal without wearing a lot of jewelry. And I just think it's beautiful. And I feel like there is something so classic and timeless about this bag. And at the same time, it is such a modern bag in the sense that it is sort of like a mini bag. I wear it crossbody or I can wear it on my shoulder and um, it just works with so many things. So yeah, that has been my favorite bag of this month. So those are all of my November favorites. I hope you enjoyed this. I wanted to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate. And um, I am just super grateful this year that everything is sort of falling into place with the move and with the townhome coming along that we are hoping to close at the end. We do have a tentative close date at the end of December that I'm hoping we hit. Um, and even though it's gonna fall smack dab in the middle of our Christmas planning um, or our Christmas plans, I. Think it will be worth it if we can um, get into that place early and do some of the things we want to do before we move in so i'm really looking forward to having some um some video kind of content to show you when we are able to get the keys and really truly get in there but um in the meantime i wish everyone a happy and healthy holiday season again and i will see you all soon in my next video